Hey everyone, I apologize, had some technical issues. I am plugged into actual internet now. So um, I'm not sure if you guys signed up for the 21 day challenge, but make sure you do sign up. I have shared the link in several posts, um, but today is day one. And basically how the challenge is going to work is we're going to go over um, like all the products that I use on a daily basis, which is basically in the daily habits kit. So let me go over those items really, really quick. Um, the daily habits kits actually includes the lifelong vitality um, um, supplements. And then um, a lot of people have been asking me about the supplements and how this is different from other supplements. And basically it, it's got um, ingredients in there that our bodies can actually utilize because uh, um, a lot of the synthetic products, our bodies are not um, compatible with it and they can't actually utilize it. And a lot of it actually ends down the drain. Um, so it's a lifelong vitality pack. Um, you take three, um, it's, it's three separate. Um, there's a fish oil one that helps with your brain. There's the alpha CRS, which also helps with energy and, um, and your joints as well. Uh, and then there is a food nutrient supplement, which of course right now we do need as much supplementation we, uh, um, that we can get, especially with when it comes to our food, right? Um, there's also um, a probiotic, a PB assist. Uh, I left it over there. And then there is a terrazyme. So again, the PB assist is a probiotic uh, that we use to help um, our bodies uh, take care of uh, whatever is that's happening in there, right? It's a bacteria, um, uh, helps with that bacteria part, right? And then there's a terrazyme, which is a digestive enzyme Everybody needs this digestive enzyme, especially if you're older, right? So if we only produce so much um, digestive enzymes, uh, this particular one uh, actually helps um, break down our food, right? So the older you get, I don't know if you notice it, that you're, you are going to have more gas. That's why older people fart more, right? Unless you get some terrazyme. So if you know a friend that farts a lot, <laughs> get him some terrazyme. And wait, there's more. You get an extra bottle for them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and then uh, I talk about this a lot is the deep blue rub. Okay. This is awesome for that. Um, I, I'm going to go over more of this in detail. So I just wanted to go over the stuff I'm using. Um, balance. I use this all the time. We've got lemon oil. Um, we've got frankincense oil. We've got the on guard oil and then the lavender oil. Okay. And as we go through the 21 day challenge, we'll tell you about the oils and how to use them and when to use them. So for day one right now, we're just going to focus on habit stacking. Um, and habit stacking is basically if you want to start a new habit, a lot of people can't stick to the habit, right? Normally they say 21 days. Really, it's a little bit more than 21 days, but you know, 21 days is what everyone's doing. So we'll stick to that. But it's uh, very hard to start a habit if you don't, um, attach it to something else that you're already doing, right? So um, for me, like I would tell people with the oils, they have a hard time using the oils because they forget about it, right? But you need to put the oils where you're going to use them, right? So example would be the lemon oil, okay? So the lemon oil goes in your water and goes in your water daily. So wherever you go to fill up your water bottle, um, you want to have the oil there already, right? So then you can remember it. So um, that's where the lemon would go in the kitchen. I have one there. I actually have um, a little uh, container for a couple citrus oils. I like the lemon oil. I like the green mandarin oil. Um, and so I have those by in the kitchen, um, right where I fill up my water bottle. And then um, balance, balance is there in the kitchen because it's in the morning when I go get, when I'm in there. And that's when I have to go ahead and apply that oil. Um, and then also we have the frankincense. The frankincense, I talked about this a lot. The frankincense oil, I, I actually split it and um, I split it. And so I have um, a bottle in my bathroom um, and then a bottle in my regular oil bag. But it's in the bathroom because I put it on my face all the time and I need to make sure I do not forget to put that on. Um, so it's basically things that you're already doing that you want to stick a new habit to. Okay, so for day one, day one, we are actually, you're going to pick one habit. So in the habit, you're going to choose, it's going to be even easier, right? A lot of times when we have too many choices, we don't make the choice. So um, the less choices, the better, right? This is the whole reason Steve Jobs always wore a black shirt and jeans, right? You would think he's wearing the same thing all the time, but he's not right? He had like a whole closet full of black shirts and a whole closet full of jeans. And it's basically is 
he didn't want to pollute his brain with having to think of one more thing, right? It's one less thing to think about, then you have more space to think about more creative things, which is, which totally makes sense, right? Which for me, I think I'm like a big advocate for uniforms in school. Like I wish I had uniforms going to school. Well, because then I wouldn't have to think about what I was gonna wear that day. And then you wouldn't have that whole comparison, like, ooh, look, she's got some Gloria Vanderbilts over there, and I don't. I think I just dated myself with those jeans, right? <laughs> it was the Gloria Vanderbilts and the Chemin de Fur and the Calvin Klein jeans, right? Um, but I did have my dittos, so, and I was all proud of my dittos. But anyways, I went off on a tangent on that. So today is all about habit stacking. Um, Think of things that you're already doing to put that habit, uh, attach that habit to, okay? So I uh, forgot to give you your three choices. Three choices are, number one, you want to uh, make a better ha a habit on drinking more water, right? So we've got that, drinking more water, right? Or you want to focus on getting more exercise. Or number, one, uh, number three is getting more sleep. So for today only, choose which one of those habits you want to focus on and then uh, think of ways uh, you can get more water in right so I'll give you examples for all three for all three so for drinking water again I already talked about it um, drinking more water you want to get a thermos right um, and always carry it with you that would be a one good way to help you um, get increased water right and to help you with that habit another one is always to have water by your bed at night, okay? Um, so that when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you wanna do is get drink, get some water in you, okay? So, and then you, if you have your thermos, always carry it with you so it's a reminder. Um, another thing you can do is, <laughs> you, can, you wanna have an app, right? Use your phone as your own personal assistant and get a water app, right? There's so many different apps out there. There's a water light app, or you can just set alarms on your phone uh, to, uh, to drink water, right? Even on your laptop, I just realized that there's a thing that you can set like every hour on your laptop that's going to tell you what time it is, um, just as a reminder to drink water, okay? Uh, if your goal is to get more exercise, then um, you want to go ahead and plan out what exercise you're going to work on, get the other tools that you need to complete that exercise, put them in your schedule, um, get your exercise clothes ready by your bed the night before. So if you're going to exercise in the morning, it's already in place. Um, so get a buddy, right? Get your Fitbit, another, another one, right? Get something that's going to motivate you to get that exercise done. An easy exercise for me, um, I like that little mini trampoline or even a jump rope because that's quick and easy. And you don't have to go out in the cold if it's cold, right? Um, and then the other one is sleep, right? Determine what your sleep, um, what time you want to go to sleep. Uh, and a lot of people like to say, oh, go to bed an hour earlier from that. For me, it was a little bit too hard. So um, to make it easier for me, I just you know went to bed 15 minutes earlier. And sometimes I didn't even make that right. And then sometimes you go to bed like, oh my God, what a loser. Like I didn't, I didn't make my quota for the day, right? I didn't meet my goal, right? So now I had changed my goal to just like just get to bed one minute earlier, right? That's like a win-win, right? You feel so much better. Um, and not only that, if you did that for 30 days, right? For 30 days, you'd get to bed 30 minutes earlier. And for 60 days, then you'd get to bed an hour earlier, right? So that would be an easy way. And then throughout this challenge, we'll go over all the oils and the other tools that you can use to help with that. So habit stacking and um, pick a goal. And that's it for today. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, hang on, wait. <laughs> it's not bye-bye. There's actually a tracker. I wanted to go over the tracker. Um, let me share this tracker. Um, there's a tracker here, so, ah, right? So um, I will share this in the post. Uh, you can go ahead and just copy the post um, or also go ahead and download the resource guide. Um, make sure you get that resource guide. And then, um, but here is the tracker. So basically uh, to, you wanna just complete at least three of these items here, right? You got up on time, on the time that you said, right? You got your water intake, your daily movement and the calming activities basically is very, very important.
the calming activities before bed is very important because that's going to set the tone for the quality of the sleep that you get. If you go to sleep upset, if you go to sleep, you know, with just negative thoughts, you, just the quality of your sleep is going to go down, right? So you don't want that. Like that's why I even changed to going to bed one minute earlier because it was a sure win, right? Because when I went to bed and I know I didn't, you know, I should have been in bed an hour earlier and I wasn't, then you're all going to sleep and you're all grumpy, right? And then by the time you get to sleep, you know, that's going to set your tone. You're not going to have nice, beautiful dreams, right? So, um, but yeah, that's a very important one. Um, so just, um, you got here, you know, review your habits. Oh, reviewing everything is great and tracking everything is great because the only time that you know how far you've gotten is when you track it. Sometimes we forget we're not as successful as we think we are because we don't look back and see how far we've come, right? So every one of you guys, anytime you feel like you're not doing great, you have to look back. Um, and see how far you've come. And I really had to do that this weekend because I just felt like I was not making any progress. And it wasn't until I looked back to see how much I actually did get done. And then it was like, oh, okay, I feel better now, right? So, um, and then um, we've got the oil routine here, right? So you wanna diffuse the three drops of lemon. I can't, why can't I see this? Hang on, right? So this is a, ones I actually always do diffuse the three drops of lemon um, and I, I always put the balance on or I use adaptive and then you can put it on the balance on your wrist right you've got lemon to 20 glasses of water and then the lifelong vitality pack right so we've got everything here you just want to go ahead and go through this and this is what we're going to start uh, tomorrow you can start today also as well um, and then the little journal this is very helpful. It seems like a simple minor thing, but it does make a difference. It makes a difference in your mind. Um, and because it's probably rewiring things, and that's basically what we're doing when we're creating a habit. It's about um, um, getting rid of our old patterns and creating a new pattern. And right now we are wired to our old pattern. So we have to do it consistently in order to get that new pattern in. And, and that's it for now. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.